Welcome back to Outer Wilds. So last time we were trying to go to the Sun Station from Ashtwen. We can do that battle, so let's take a look at the log and see what else we still have yet to explore. Because I want to get a totally complete log here. So there's the Zero G cave. That's almost it, because the Sun Station and Ashtwen project. Escape pottery and the vessel we haven't found yet. Oh, and also the launch module. I think we can actually enter the launch module, we'll try it as well. But also we'll go to the Zero G cave, which is on Timberheart itself. I think it was very close to the observatory. So where's the Zero G cave? Oh, I think this is it. I'm pretty sure this is it. Okay, Zero G Cave is up here now. Oh, there's actually almost zero graffiti here already. I think it's because we're getting close to the core of Timberheart, and right in the middle there's obviously no graffiti. Oh, this is a good way to learn how to Traverse and zero G and repair stuff while in outer space. Nice one of three repaired. Now I'm quite a pro at maneuvering in zero G. It's not as easy as it looks, I would say. Done. Training simulation complete. Okay, so back to the ship we go. Now let's go to the Ash Twin planet. So let's try this again. Hopefully not die this time. We've just been to the Zero G cave, I think I fuck. Yeah, I'm sure how did I do it so effortlessly the first time? Okay, I think I'm gonna try going back to the launch probe now that orbits around the giant's deep can we do it? i think we're gonna be able to land there we go quite a good landing i'm proud of this one. Oh yeah last time i tried to go to the launch module but as soon as i tried i was immediately sent inside giant's deep itself no, this is broken here, yeah, this is the broken one. Can I enter? Let's see. Yes, I can, actually. Probe tracking motu projection stone. Imagine, Prophet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye. You will be the first to see them. Okay, yeah, I saw this conversation. And the, and the module that was in the giant's deep core. Not much, I think everything else is broken or floating around. Let's double check that we got everything. Yes, we do. So yeah, let's go to the Ash Twin planet again. And this time we'll really try to not die by the fucking cacti. Okay, so come on, we can do it this time. Let's get used to... I think I need to just get used to a bit the gravity, thought the gravity of this planet. Because I keep forgetting that this planet has... Fuck. Come on. I made it. Nice, nice. Now as soon as I see the sun here, I should be teleported. No, look, that's my ship. My ship is falling onto the amber twin, very nice. And here we go, we are now on the sun station, that is super close to the actual sun. It must be very hot here. 281,000 years ago, no user commands received for 10 minutes, all systems entering sleep. 
8 minutes 19 seconds ago again this is probably the exact time where this current loop started increase solar activity detected sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels closing emergency doors warning opens emergency door yeah let's open this oh so the sun station got destroyed because the sun is growing probably fuck i'm so close to the sun <laughs> how am i not dying right now okay we made it mission science compels us to explode the sun oh can't we change this? I don't enjoy working in view of such a morbid mission statement. Here's a better one. Mission. Determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. But why though? You lack a sense of humor. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics. Kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does, Idea. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. Oh shit, that's the sun right in front of me there. This reminds me of Sunshine, the movie, if you've seen it. Star has reached end of natural life cycle, now approaching red giant stage. Warning, evacuate sun station. Nah, I'm a badass. Approximate time until Sun Station is destroyed by expanding star, 1 minute 12 seconds, fuck. Approximate time until star's death, 12 minutes 42 seconds, fuck I need to be quick. Where's the... Pick up Ash Twin Projection Stone. We only have a minute to go. What happened? Did the Sun Station not fire? It fired, Yero, but it failed. The Sun barely responded. There were infinitamist infinitesimally small surface level changes but they were barely visible even to the third eye oh because these guys had a third eye right the sun station is useless it will never and could never cause the sun to explode i don't know what comes next my friends i suppose we must start over but i'm unsure how to start over return to ashton first my friend perhaps a change of task would help Spire noticed a comet approaching the star system that we'd like to investigate. I think they were trying to explode the sun to get as much energy as they could from the supernova and they wanted to harness that energy somehow. So this is again within the Ashtwin project inside the Ashtwin score probably. I think I have no time to escape so I will just accept defeat but we got what we wanted here 0 minutes 16 seconds until the sun destroys this place oh shit RIP so really I think all that's left now is to go to the Ashtwin tower and try to use that to teleport inside Ashtwin score yeah, we still need to find the vessel and escape pot 3 and the Ashton project. Let's see what we know about it. So the central chamber inside Ashton was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. The Nomai plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on Ashton. Mika is interested in the Ashton project as well. Every memory recorded by an Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ashton. An advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ashton. I think we can finally enter. I think this is the Ashton one. But I'm not sure if this is the Ashton or the Amber Twin teleport. But first we have to hide here because otherwise the sand will get us onto the other planet. Let's check now. Okay, we're teleported. Yeah, this is the Ashton project one. Wow, this is trippy. Oh, because I think this thing is constantly orbiting to produce artificial gravity. That's why everything is trippy here. 
So we are finally inside the Ashtwin project. 8 minutes 17 seconds ago, we received data from previous cycles. Musk receiving data from Probe Tracking Module. Giant's Deep Memory Statue, Temper Heart Memory Statue. Yeah, so we are connected to the Temper Heart one. 14 minutes until end of cycle transmission. Which one is our statue? I don't know. A lot of things to read here. Yarrow, today we finished the excavation of Ashtwin. Here, in this space we carved, we will craft our most ambitious project yet, the Ashtwin project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. How far we've come since our experiments at the high energy lab? I still can hardly believe Raimi's hypothesis were true. We've also finished relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. We'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. Pocky just sent the warp core for the final tower to us from Black Hole Forge. Now Ashtwin can be connected with the Giant's Deep, where Kasava is working with Evans to craft the orbital probe cannon, and where Flox is sculpting the memory statues. Hypothesis, it was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis, the cores could have been forged faster if Kasava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. The important point is we are all connected through Ashton now, and also that I'm no longer needed for mediating your disagreements. Our friends on Giant's Deep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Mellow tells me the cannon is doing well, and that Evans advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Evans can. But then, if anyone can go the device into exploding, that too is likely Evans. Perhaps I should check in with the orbital probe cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Evans that Mello, his love, will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon, or is Mello part of the problem? Flox and Das finished the memory statues today, and they are truly remarkable. When the Ashtwin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. This is important to be fair, because they made a fail safe as well, so that even if it fails, the memory statues will activate. Pi and Idea have worked hard on the sun station, and it at last is complete. If everything goes as planned, the structure will prompt the sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power the Ashton project requires. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude, this was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. So yeah, they were planning to destroy the sun to power this Ashton project. We're nearly ready to activate Ashton project, here is what will happen. First, the sun station will receive the order to fire at the sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ashton project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the sun station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from the cannon launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ashton project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end the cycle at will. These words are difficult to write, the sun station did not work. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ashton project is theoretically sound, we were only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. Suppose we redesign the sun station. To generate power of that magnitude, a supernova is still our only viable option. This is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, idea. But you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet has newly arrived in the solar system and we're, and we're anxious to explore it. 
It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. Yeah, unfortunately not much knowledge was gained. And the Nomai civilization was about to end very soon. Artificial gravity control. Okay, if I lower this, it will be 0g again, so no thank you. So what does this do? Let's see. Wait, what does this say? You are about to access the core while the Ash Twin project is active. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. I think I need to deactivate gravity so that I can get this up here. Okay, oh, so now we have access to the core. And if we remove this, the Ashton project is now not active, and the loop won't restart if we do this. So what do I have to do with the core? So I know where the eye is. Right? But I need to find the vessel first, because the vessel is what will transport me to the eye. That's why they came here with the vessel, because they were meaning to travel to the eye with it. But then how do I find the vessel? I forgot that bit. How did we find the other the other escape pods? Well, we found them because they were very easy to find, but they emitted distress beacon signals. And I'm sure either the vessel or at least the escape pod 3, which we haven't found yet, I'm sure it also emits a signal of its own. So... Let's try taking the score and leaving the space. How do I leave the space? Oh, we just stand here, I guess. Okay, we're back out here. Let's go to Dark Bramble because that's because we know that Escape Pod 3 is there and even the vessel. Wait, oh, this is not Dark Bramble. <laughs> I thought the White Hole Station is Dark Bramble. I gotta fix whatever is broken. So where's Dark Bramble? It's over there. Okay, there's the Distress Beacon. We've located it. According to Wikipedia, the Shut up, Google. N is normally read aloud as N. It is also commonly called the N symbol, commercial and or address sign. So that's where we need to go. Oh, there's the escape, but I can see it. Let's go. There it is. Our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities in the process. We've held out as long as we could here, but the spot supply of breathable air is nearly depleted, and the anglerfish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance at survival is to return to the vessel, to either repair the damage or more probably await rescue. Seka, is the message finished? The vessel's beacon is already growing fainter. It will be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here quickly. So these guys were in trouble, sadly. Begin flight log, escape pod 3, vessel has been mortally injured, emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. Now launching escape pod 3. Alert, multiple collisions have altered pod's trajectory, significant damage to pod detected. Navigation error, life support error, propulsion error. Scanning external environment, scan complete. Gravity not detected, breathable air not detected, multiple life forms detected, potentially hostile, verdict, do not exit pod. Then, there is a new problem, our equipment is detecting two distinct beacons from the vessel. But it isn't possible for the vessel to be in two different locations at the same time. I agree, but the beacons are exactly identical to each other, perhaps if I had more time. We're nearly out of time already then. The vessel's beacon is quickly fading, soon it will be gone and we will be lost. 
we will follow the beacon whose source is nearest to us. But suppose that beacon is false. We likely don't have enough air to reach the further of the two beacons, Dean. The decision is made for us. We'll leave a trail of lights as we go. There's still a chance someone could hear our escape pod's distress signal. Emergency escape hatch. Oh, the sun has just exploded because I can hear it. GG, sun. I couldn't save the universe in time. So these are the lights that they left. Yes, yeah, so I will have to come back here in the next loop, even though technically there is no loop now because I removed the warp core from the Ashton project, so now it can't send stuff back to the loop. So I kind of fucked everything up, but we can obviously load the previous save. You are dead. I finished the game, guys, again for the second time. <laughs> There's not even music in the credits of this ending version.